There's a new drug on the market, and it is becoming a hit among celebrities. While all drugs can be lethal, this one is especially poisonous. Why? Because it's a venom, snake's venom. Well, it's not exactly new, but it has come under the spotlight because of a certain Indian influencer with millions of followers. His name is Elvish Yadav. He's been arrested for allegedly supplying the drug to a rape, and he's just one of many names involved. The snake venom circuit runs much bigger and deeper. Snake bites. Dragon drops. K72 and 76. Snake's venom. It goes by many names. It can give your euphoria, a head rush, alter your state of consciousness, enhance your sex drive. But it can also give you an unbeatable addiction. So do not feel tempted. It's worse than other drugs because its high lasts not only for a few hours but days despite the adverse effects. It's all the rage in rave parties, especially in India. Ravers are spending nights on reptiles. High on snake venom, they dance from dawn until dusk. One such party was raided by police in India's national capital region. Guess what they found? A plastic bottle filled with 20 milliliters of snake venom. Five cobras, one python, two-headed snakes and a rat snake. Yes, this rager in Noida had live snakes. Where did they come from? It is yet to be known, but we know who supplied it. It was an Indian YouTuber and influencer named Elvish Yadav. Despite being embroiled in controversies, this man enjoys a following of millions of people. He has been arrested along with five other men. All of them have admitted that they supplied snake venom at rave parties allegedly organized by Elvish Yadav. How did they come under the scanner? Well, they fell into a trap laid by the people for animal group. The members of this group called Yadav as customers, asking him to arrange snake venom for a party. Yadav took the bait and now he is in judicial custody for 14 days. The whole incident has brought to light the snake venom circuit. Who would have thought people will be abusing snake poison and harming animals along the way? There are so many questions. How is the venom extracted? How is it used? What does it do once it enters the body? What are the risks? There are bound to be some. Also, what is its economy? Is it helping dealers make a lot of money? Let us answer some of these questions for you. Extracting snake venom is a tedious task, not to forget a dangerous and cruel one as well. Snakes store only so much venom. So if the police found 20 milliliters of it in a party, that means many snakes were tortured or even killed in the process. What snake keepers also do is inject the reptiles with chemicals to increase their venom production. The task of coaxing out the venom is usually left to snake charmers. Once the snake spits out its venom, it is stored and sold off or used. To make the process safer for the snake handlers, the poor reptiles are often starved or have their teeth yanked off. This is one way to go about it. The other way is more dangerous. Whoever wants to take the venom holds the snake by its head and then it slaps it sharply with an object to make it bite. Sounds bizarre, doesn't it? Who in the right mind would do something so harmful? Well, people do and they end up getting addicted. Once the venom enters the user's bloodstream, it releases serotonin and peptides which sedate the person. It induces a feeling of tranquility and euphoria. These are the sensations usually associated with powerful opioids. So naturally, snake venom is highly addictive. Other potential risks include blurring of vision, internal bleeding and blood clotting. The most alarming thing is that there hasn't been enough research into the field. So we don't exactly know what we are dealing with. 
However, it continues to be a money-making machine, so the repercussions are often overlooked. In November 2022, the Border Security Force in India's West Bengal seized a jar containing 2.14 kilograms of snake venom. Just imagine how many snakes would have suffered for it. It was valued at Rs 17 crore in the international market. That is over $2 million. The consumer demand for snake venom seems to be increasing. How long before it turns into yet another drug epidemic? Bureau Report, we on World is One. For all the latest news, download the WeOn app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.